Therefore, I have the first chapter of meditation to you. Now, I'm in bed this time, and I've actually started some of my essays a week before they're due. But unfortunately, with this one, because it's the end and I'm feeling a little bit burnt out, <laughs> I've left this one quite late. So it's the day before, and I am still reading. I started properly reading about two days ago, but didn't really get very far, kept getting distracted. So today I have to frantically read the rest of um, the books and chapters and articles and then write <laughs> by 12 o'clock tomorrow. So I thought I'd bring you along with me on this terrible, terrible journey. I just want to get it, honestly, I just want to get it done before I go home um, and like actually enjoy Christmas and feel like I've actually accomplished something. So that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, so let's go. Let's try and finish this awful reading and start writing at some point. I don't know when that's going to be, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, I've just finished um, one of my readings. Um, it's now like 12.40. And I'm gonna go and take a coronavirus test um, because I'm going home in a couple of days and I'm gonna make sure I'm all clear so I don't give anything to my family. So I'm gonna go do that now and then come back and have some lunch and get back to reading. Yeah, so I'm back. The Korean test is okay. I didn't gag this time, so. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think it's just because I'm so used to doing them. And I would have been back earlier, it's like half one now, but I stopped, on, um, I stopped at the recycling centre on my way back from the test centre. Um, and I bought a few things. I originally only planned to go in and get like a copy of Jane Eyre because um, I wanted to reread it over Christmas. So luckily I found a copy, brilliant, but what I also got was a pile of other books. But they are books I'm going to read and I got some cute earrings, these little clip-on seashells and also these cute little blue and gold earrings, which are really cute. These are books I got. The War of Don Emmanuel Neda. I don't know what it's called. Book that. Also got some poetry. Some Pablo Neruda. Three Musketeers. A Tale of Two Cities. <laughs> Never Let Me Go. And a cute copy of Grimm's Fairy Tale, which the guy in it in the um recycling centre told me Grimm the Grimm's brothers never actually wrote. It's just a collection of folk tales, which is an interesting fact. I learn something new every day. This is some um fried tofu and rice and peas that I made last night for dinner. Just gonna have leftovers. It's quite a lot. I think I'll be full for a really long time.
Okay, so I think I've finished my reading. Um, it is 8.22, so I've been reading for over 12 hours. I know there are a couple breaks in between, but I'm um, not going to my crony test and stuff. But it's been a really long day. I'm gonna go and make dinner now, um, and then come back and try and like arrange my notes into um, like my plan like so what I do let me let me actually show you kind of how I write my essays as well basically I've had like my reading that I've done online here and then here I write my notes I usually take down quotes or I'll do a summary of what they said and then sometimes in red there'll be things that I'll write that I um, add which are my own kind of ideas and stuff so my own thoughts my own criticisms um, and stuff like that and then once I've done that I kind of separate out all the quotes and ideas I have into the different chapters for my plan so I've got my plan like, written here um, and I'm kind of doing like three parts so I will take my um, notes from here and kind of arrange them into those three parts because I find it makes it a lot easier to try and write because then I have all the notes that I need for um, each paragraph in one place um, so yeah I hope that was wasn't too confusing and that you understood that for some reason the light's gone really yellow I don't think I'm going to be getting much sleep tonight uh, but I guess um, Christmas Chris, but I guess Christmas will make up for it I plan on getting a lot of sleep eating a lot of food I'm excited to go see my nan because she just cooks and feeds me and lets me take a break so it'll be really nice and yeah I can't wait to get this on to be honest, I mean, it will be such a relief once this is done. Um, <laughs> I know this is probably going to be shit, uh, but this is all a work in progress, you know, like, don't judge, it's fine. I think, like I said earlier, like, I don't feel like I had as much pressure on this one because I know that I won't get a grade for this because it's a diss chapter and like, my diss isn't due till March. So I've got lots of time to revise and go over things and just work things out and I feel like this term has been quite hectic um, and it's been quite hard for me to try to get back into the swing of things because obviously I had my year out, I went my year abroad and that was got cancelled last March so since March, which is about what, nine months, well when I, when I handed my first essay in in November, that was eight months without me doing basically any work and a whole year without me doing any proper academic writing because um, when I was in Italy they have a very different style of assessment so we did oral exams rather than academic writing so I felt like I've used this term to try and get back into the flow of um, I feel like I've used this term to try and get back into the flow of being in structured uni environment again and doing academic writing and it's all really worn me out actually um i feel a bit of burnout but hopefully christmas i'll have a little bit of a break and be able to rejuvenate and refresh and come back better than ever but before that we've just got to hand this this chapter in <laughs> in whatever state it ends up in but yeah let's go have dinner now
finally done. I finished at about 20 past nine, half nine, I'm not sure. I'm done. I've written 2,400 words. Um, and yeah, just gonna write the bibliography now and go through and check like grammar and stuff is okay. And then submit finally. Oh God, that took so much effort and brain power. I'm absolutely exhausted. Just gotta get this last bit done and then I can submit it and have a good nap. <laughs> Oh, now I can close all my tabs, you know that feeling when you just, just close them all. Oh my god, incredible. It feels amazing. Oh. Done. So, that's me done. 2,512 words in about... I guess from the time I started half 4 till half 10. Like the whole thing was six hours, but I did take a break in the middle, like had had some posts and stuff, and like wasn't consistently working the whole way through. But let's say about six hours to do two thousand five hundred words. Great. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm really happy. I feel really relieved that it's done. Um. I'm just gonna have a nap, shower, and then I've got a pack to go home tomorrow. I'm so so pleased that it's done before I can leave. Now I feel like I can actually relax over Christmas. I'm gonna go to sleep. Um, thank you so much for watching and watching me stress out and everything like that and me looking like absolute trash. But um, yeah, I will see you in the next one. I think it'll be like a Christmassy one. Um, and yeah, sorry I haven't uploaded recently either. Obviously, I've been quite stressed. Like last week, I had another essay due. Um, it's all just been a very stressful end of term, especially with this. So now I'm done. Hopefully, I will be back to regular uploading on Sunday. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one. Well,